Yes, the New World Order officially threatened to assassinate Donald Trump. This came just a few days after my previous video where I hypothesized that Trump might be in danger for telling a crowd that he plans to reveal 9-11 secrets as precedent. The New World Order knocked down the Twin Towers, but according to John F. Kennedy, this cabal operating behind the scenes will never let their secrets come out. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. Don't expect that to change with Donald Trump. Several elites, including Bilderberg member Martin Wolf of the Financial Times, have come out saying that Trump must be stopped at all costs. He stated that members of the global super elite are working to stop Trump's election to the presidency. Three days after my video was put out, which by the way, YouTube has censored from search results, just three days after this video, a columnist for the New York Times made a striking Trump assassination reference. If you don't know the history of the New York Times and their connection to the Bilderberg agenda, I encourage you to research that. Numerous columnists and editors from the New York Times have partaken in Bilderberg meetings. The chief editor, Jill Abramson, was actually confronted about the Times' huge connection to Bilderberg by an organization known as WeAreChange.org. My question is from Tom and Jill. Did you guys ever hear of the Bilderberg Group, a group of elites that meets once a year in secret that are with the heads of media, heads of government, heads of state, that actually rule in secrecy? No, I, no, 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 it's a very important question because the New York Times and, and, and AP has never covered the Bilderberg Group. Have you guys heard of it and will you guys cover the Bilderberg Group? No? Thank you. Next question. Is there it's a very question? serious question. I covered it and I get okay. death threats for it. It's okay. secret elites meeting once a year. And well, they, they don't know what you're talking about, so let's go on to the next Oh, he does. Then okay. can you comment on it, please? Really can I have a comment have on it? an extended comment on your question. Okay. But we, I, got a, we got other people here. It's a movie, Joe. Would you like it? Free movie? Free literature? Would you like to take it? It's free. Totally free. What do you know about the Bilderberg Group? No comment? Uh, yes. My name is Luke Radowski uh, yeah. from We Are Changed. Did you ever attend the Bilderberg meeting? Because many New York Times reporters did. Jill, it's great to have a captive audience. How are you? <laughs> I heard you in there saying something about the Bilderberg group. You said you knew something about it. Can you please give us a comment, please? The American people deserve to know. They ruin secrecy. Nobody wants to talk about them. Can we, can we please just have one comment? What happened? What happens with the Bilderberg group? JFK said secrecy in the society is repugnant, Jill. Do you uh, agree with John F. Kennedy? Jill, what, how do you feel about secrecy in society? Right, no, no, but just understand, it. it's the world's elite meeting in secret, and if, the, I mean, what happens if a hundred celebrities meet in secret? The media would be all over it. But when hundreds of the princes, kings, prime ministers, uh, and how do you know this? Economics. I know this because I covered the event. I saw Ben Bernanke walk in. I saw Madeleine Albright walk in. I get death threats for covering the issue, and the New York Times won't cover the issue. The New York Times won't cover the issue. Shut up and let them talk. Because yes, because the New York Times editors actually go to these secret meetings and are told what oh to report on. And please just do your own research, ma'am. Please. Bye. Jill. Bye. Jill. Get off of the elevator. Please get off. Please get off. Please get off. Please get off. Jill. I'll need to call security. Please I don't, don't care about do security. I'm not doing please anything go. illegal. And I'm just asking questions and many answers. I would like you to please go. Yeah, but you are aware. Just give us. We'll aware. leave you alone. If you follow me, I'm going to ask yeah, for security. For what? Jill, the Bilderberg Group? Will you report it? Will you do any news on the Bilderberg Group? At least, don't you think the American people deserve to know the truth? It's all right. There's one. Do, don't the American people deserve the truth? That's all we ask for, truth. And the New York Times won't do it. Please, ma'am. The entire newspaper is a beacon for the distribution of the Bilderberg agenda and the dissemination of information for the purpose of constructing a new world order. Is it any surprise that a New York Times columnist would come out with an obvious reference to the murder of Donald Trump? Ross Douthat has a history of supporting a neocon agenda in his op-eds, the foreign policy of a new world order. Douthat tweeted the following, quote, good news guys, I figured out how the Trump campaign ends, unquote. And he posted a clip of the movie Dead Zone, which is based on a Stephen King novel published in 1979. 
Ross Douthat's allusion to the murder of Donald Trump was carefully constructed. In this tweet, he was specifically referencing a character from Dead Zone who can see premonitions of the future after waking up from a five-year coma. In one scene, the man sees a premonition of a political candidate who is elected president and tries to start a war. The man with premonitions decides to stop this from happening. He unleashes a gun and tries to kill the political candidate at a rally so that he will not become president of the U.S. After People pointed out the clear reference to the assassination of Donald Trump, New York Times columnist Ross Douthat took down his tweet and apologized. But Douthat got sufficient publicity for his tweet to convey the message. No secret is revealed. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. The strange reference to the premonitions of Trump becoming president and an assassination attempt before his election to the presidency were very blatant. And I'm sure that was Ross Douthat's point. Just last week, Donald Trump's campaign advisor confirmed that Trump is now wearing a bulletproof vest at public events. 